In order to access Vanier College Computer Services, all faculty and staff are required to set a personal security question and perform password resets at specified intervals. This video will show you how to do both of these tasks. Number one, setting your security question. This procedure will only take a few minutes at most, plus you will only have to do it once. In the future, when you reset your password or unlock your email account, you will log on to a Vanier website and answer a security question to confirm your identity. People occasionally lock themselves out of their account because they forget their password or because they've mistyped it three times. After setting your security question, you will be able to reset your password or unlock your account immediately without needing to place a call to the help desk and then wait for their response. Note, you absolutely must do this task as the college will eventually lock all accounts that don't have a security question set. So to get started, just go to the Vanier College homepage. And if you're a teacher, click on the big tab in the top where it says Teachers. On the left-hand menu, click on Secure Password Access. And then over on the right side, click on manage email slash domain account. Now for this example we're going to use the username of John Smith which is a fictitious name that doesn't exist right now at Vanier. So we're going to type the name here into the username. Now if the email for this person would be smithj at vanyecollege.qc.ca but your username is just the first part that appears before at vanyecollege.qc.ca so we just type in smithj underneath we type in the password and click on the login button now you have to set a question here now there are several questions below that you can choose from. What was the name of your first school, your favorite childhood book, etc. For this one we're going to choose what color was your first car. That is the security question and I'm going to type in my answer. It was green. And uh, you, it's as an optional feature you can type in a hint and I, if I forgot what kind of my car I had, it was a Honda. 1976. Click Add. It says right at the top here in the yellow field, your question has been added. Now if you wish, you may choose to add more than one question for even a higher level of security, but note that you will have to answer all the security questions that you have selected when you reset your password in the future. Once you've finished, you can just click on Log Out here and you have logged out. This section will deal with how to change your password or how to unlock your account. If you forget your password, well, you need to know how to reset it. If you mistype your password three times, your account is automatically locked for the next 30 minutes. This is to protect you from someone guessing your password. If you don't want to wait half an hour to use your account, well, then you need to know how to unlock it. This section of the video shows you how to do both. The navigation to the password reset page is identical to that of the security page as we did before. First thing you need to know though are password guidelines. What is a weak password? Obviously a weak password is one that is so easy to guess that it does not properly protect your email account. Automated password crackers look for specific patterns such as dictionary words like chameleon, sandbags. It also looks for words with number substitutions such as password1, dear2000, john1234. Also it looks for doubled words like crab crab, stop stop, tree tree, whatever. And common sequences such as QWERTY or 12345678. It's also best not to base your password on anything personally related to you, such as your license plate number, current or past telephone numbers or addresses, or birthdays, or the names of pets or relatives, since others obviously may have access to this info. So, what is a strong password? 
A strong password is one that does protect your email account by conforming to the following two rules on the Vanier College email system. First of all, the minimum password length is nine characters. Anything less is automatically rejected. The second rule is you cannot use previously used passwords. Passwords eventually leak out or get left lying around on a scrap of paper. Hackers understand human nature. They know that we like to reuse our favorite passwords. So for your protection, the email system maintains a history log of previously used passwords. And once a password has expired or has been changed, it cannot be reused. Maybe as a little helpful suggestion, we would suggest you make up a short sentence that is easy to remember. It can be a nonsense sentence, such as, wiggle my ten toes. You would have an even stronger password if you threw in a couple of capitals, like capital W, wiggle, uh, my ten, and don't write it as T-E-N, write it with numbers, one, zero, ten, and then put a capital T on toes, wiggle my ten toes. That would be a very strong password. You have capitals, you have numbers, and it would be a difficult password to guess. So again, the procedure to log on is the same as before. You go to the Vanier homepage, click on the staff or the teachers tab at the top, click in the left hand side on secure password access, in the right side click on manage email slash domain account. So again you type in your username which is Smith J. Right underneath where it says change password or unlock account, click continue. It now asks you the answer to your security question. What color was your first car? And as I said, it was green. Now, if I wanted to unlock my account because I typed my password to too many times incorrectly, I would click on unlock account. If I wanted to change my password, I could do that as well on this area right here where it says new password and again it reminds you minimum nine characters. So I'm going to change my password. And I have to retype it. And click on the button change password. And it says at the top your password has been successfully reset. Close this window or return to the login page. Let's go back to the login page. Again, we remind you the procedure is type in the username, Smith J in this case, when you click continue. It's important to remember though that when you type in a new password, do not hit the enter button because even though you filled in a password and then confirmed it over here, if you just hit the enter button, it will not go change password. No, it will unlock your account, which is something you don't want to do. So it's really recommended not to use the enter button, but click on the appropriate buttons, either unlock account or change password. And this concludes our video on how to set your security question and reset your password here at Vanier College. If you have any Further questions or encounter other problems not covered in this video, we encourage you to call the Vanny College Help Desk. The IT Help Desk number is 7529.